Welcome to this holy instant now. An instant to stop and remember. Remember who and what you truly are beyond the matrix of fear, lack, and limitation. All that seems to limit you in this world is only an illusion that demands your continued belief and attention in order to have any power over you. Now is your opportunity to let go of whatever stands in the way of your complete awareness of your true and original self. Sit back with your spine upright, get comfortable and take a deep slow breath. And as you exhale, release both past and future, release both memory and imagination and become fully present in the now. And let's begin. The contemplation with which we begin today's practice is this. What is salvation? Salvation is a promise made by God that you would find your way to Him at last. It cannot but be kept. It guarantees that time will have an end and all the thoughts that have been born in time will end as well. God's word is given every mind which thinks that it has separate thoughts and will replace these thoughts of conflict with the thought of peace. The essence of salvation encompasses the process of spiritual awakening and the restoration of our true nature to our awareness. Salvation is not something external that one receives, but rather an inner shift in perception and consciousness. It involves recognizing the illusory nature of the ego-driven world and the identification with separation, fear, and conflict. Salvation is achieved through the practice of forgiveness, which entails letting go of judgments, grievances, and attachments that keep us bound to the ego's perception of reality. Our true essence is beyond the limitations of the physical world and the ego dream matrix constructs in which the world believes. The ego's version of reality is a distortion of the true nature of creation. Salvation then is the process of undoing these distortions, returning to a state of love, unity, and oneness with all that is. Take a moment now to contemplate the meaning and to enter into the state of salvation, the state of freedom from illusions, and complete oneness with reality. In this minute or so, allow your contemplation to saturate your mind, to shape your perceptions, your thoughts, and your decisions, transforming the way that you see anything 
that appears as a cause of suffering and illuminating the way to transform suffering into release. Take the next minute or so to contemplate salvation now. And now, take a deep, slow breath, and as you let it go, let your mind and body relax. Allow all tension to dissipate. As you let go of the past and the future, And allow yourself to come fully into presence now. Words and concepts will mean little to us now. For now we seek the direct experience of truth alone. We leave the thoughts of the dream matrix behind and will to enter the kingdom of peace within. And here we wait in quiet expectation for the direct experience of God and the revelation of our oneness with our source and our unity with all things. So take one more deep, slow, and full breath in. And as you let it go, open your mind to take in the idea with which we practice today. I give my life to God to run and guide today. Infinite Creator, I give you all my thoughts today. I would have none of mine. In place of them, give me your own. I give you all my acts as well that I may do your will instead of seeking goals which cannot be obtained and wasting time in vain imaginings. Today I come to you. I will step back and merely follow you. Be you the guide and I the follower who questions not the wisdom of the infinite, nor the love whose tenderness I cannot comprehend, but which is yet your perfect gift to me. Today we have one guide to lead us on, and as we walk together, we will give this day to him with no reservation at all. This is his day, and so it is a day of countless gifts 
and mercies unto us. I place this moment, this instant, in the hands of God. May infinite intelligence take over completely my mind, my body, direct me in thought, in word, and in deed. Make me perfect as an instrument of your will. I place my mind, my life, my consciousness in your hands, infinite creator. Let your will direct my life as I release the will that I imagine as a separate self apart from you, directing and seeking after goals that cannot be accomplished, finding only disappointment and dismay. Let all this be reversed now as I invite your presence, your will, and your infinite intelligence to move through me and through my life. I give my life to you, O infinite creator, to run and direct as you will.
as you approach the completion of this practice period. Take another deep, slow, and full breath in. Breathing in all of the energy and frequency of your practice, integrating it into all aspects of your thought system and your perception now. And as you exhale slowly, relax and release and allow the integration to take place. And remember to bring this feeling, this awareness, and this idea with you into the rest of your day. I give my life to God to run and guide today. Infinite Creator, I give you all my thoughts today. I would have none of mine. In place of them, give me your own. I give you all my acts as well, that I may do your will instead of seeking goals which cannot be obtained and wasting time in vain imaginings. Today I come to you. I will step back and merely follow you. Be you the guide and I the follower who questions not the wisdom of the infinite nor the love whose tenderness I cannot comprehend, but which is yet your perfect gift to me. My gratitude is to you for investing this time and energy into your awakening and the awakening of the world. If you enjoyed and benefited from this practice, and wish to support this channel, take a moment to like the video, subscribe to continue the journey, and leave a comment in the comment section below, sharing what you will embrace and what you will release that will allow you to step ever more fully into your true self today. May you be at peace and know your true self.